Hi everybody, it's Andrew here again for GamerGuides.com and welcome to the latest video in our Bravely Default Boss Strategy Guide series. Now in this particular video we're going to be taking a closer look at the Land Turtle which can be found on Mount Fragmentum. This Land Turtle has 15,000 HP so it's no slouch. It's weak to water and also for anybody that have unlocked special move parts it's a member of the aquatic family as well. So that's a little tip for those of you who've got these special move parts unlocked from the Ren Village rebuilding. Now, main boss himself has a very high physical defense. It'll be a big giant turtle and a massive hard shell. So you'd be wise to go in with at least two magic bearing characters. Now, that doesn't mean you're gonna get an easy ride because it does use reflect to bounce back any magic attacks when it's on. So it's really wise to use examine to one, keep an eye on its HP and also, you know, just to keep an eye on whether or not reflect is active. Now, once it, you know, reflect turns uh, disappears from it, get in there fast with a magic caster and you should hopefully get your shot in before it gets a chance to put reflect back up. However, if you manage to have beaten the spell fencer sub boss at the end of the last chapter, then you can actually cast Blizzara onto the sword so your magical attacks aren't actually reflected back because it's classed as a physical attack. So if you have unlocked that particular sub boss asterisk then it's really wise to put that on a couple of your characters even as for example a you know sub job, it doesn't have to be a main job but as long as you've got a couple of those in there with you if you've unlocked it this will make this battle much much easier again. Bearing in mind because this guy also has very high damage output with a spin attack, um, you're also going to want to be break, well, be defaulting a lot to minimize any damage taken. Make sure that you use a lot of Cura across the entire team and really just use your magic attacks and or spell fence if you preferably got it to really deal the damage on this boss. So keep healing. Keep attacking with magic and that whatever possible. By all means, you can land some magic, you know, physical attacks to chip away at his health. There's no point having the BP building up and doing absolutely nothing. Just don't expect it to do the world's most amount of damage. We hope that particular uh, tips have been of some help to yourself. And this has been taken from our Bravely Default Complete Strategy Guide series as a part of it. So if you find this helpful, then we have no doubt you'll find the complete guide even more helpful again also if you have any feedback we'd love to hear it on our gamerguys.com forum on our twitter facebook feeds or on our youtube comments as well we read them all and we try to respond to them as many as possible thanks for watching this video take care and bye bye